Hey guys, what's up? This is Spaffboy and welcome to a Farming Simulator 15 mod showcase video. And this is a tractor special, as you can see. Today we are looking at the Zeta Forterra 150D version 2.0 and also the Lin Linna Geotrack 84. Um, the reason that I'm showcasing these is because they're not from your let's say the best known tractor companies are not from John Deere, Fent, Case, New Holland etc. Lintner and Zetor the Four Terra. So let's have a look at the smaller one first and we will have a look at um, let's have a look at what the specs are of these. So the Zeta, Zeta Four Terra 150 HD 136 grand, so it's quite expensive. 147 horsepower, so not that powerful. Uh, 120 pound a day to maintain. Um, yeah, and that's it. So let's compare that to the Linna, which is around here somewhere. Which is here. The Linna Geotrack 84, so that one has 84 horsepower, so a lot less powerful. Uh, 76,000 pounds, 80 pound a day to maintain. But as you see, it does come with some um, add-ons. I'm not sure if they're in there. Actually, that's a good point. Is it? Are there attachments in here? No. So they must be in there somewhere. But anyway, so let's have a look at the Linda first. Take a look around. I have to say, it is very detailed. Very good looking. Of course, the links for both of these are in the description down below. So go and check them out once you've had a look to see if you like the look of them. <laughs> I don't particularly like the headlights on these, I have to say. It looks like a, some kind of scared robot with his arm, with his T-Rex arms waving in the air. But hey, that's personal taste. But the actual quality looks, looks really good. Uh, so there is a Montas Montaparte, which sounds uh, French. Press R and find out what that is. What? what the? Whoops. What the hell was that? Um. Then we've got yeah chains. Nothing on the back there. Chains. Chains. So how do we then put the mud guard on? Ah, okay. So let's put some chains on and take it up into the forest and see what is what. There we go. Right, mug guards and chain and anything we can do around the front here. Yeah, so we can take the front loader arms off. But before we do that, let's jump in. It actually looks really good. I wasn't expecting to like this, I have to say. Oh, I've got missing attaches controls. So it's got the towing eye there, or the tow hook, should I say. Whoa! Oh. Awesome! Some nice Michelins on there. Oh! It's working in the crops. Dual wheel and back to those. Wow, they're really cool. What's that? Is that my. What is that? What is that? I don't think that's meant to be there, is it? What is that? Hmm, maybe you guys can tell me. But hey, now we've got the standard IC. Open up the front window. That door. Shut that. And that. And that door, anything down here? What was that? Trouble is, it's not in English, so I don't know what it's saying. Okay, and the rear window. What's that? I need to learn foreign languages. So, what have I actually changed out here? <laughs> I'm not sure, but I'm actually going to change these tires because these tires are cool AF. <laughs> right. So, 
let's jump in and let's head up down the road to see what it's like. What? It kind of steers itself on these tyres. Whoa. Let's see if that's the same for all of them. Really nice exhaust animation. Oh, it's a bit... It's a bit bouncy. Oh, I don't like that. No, no, no. I don't like that at all. What a shame. It was so good up until then. Up until then, I really, really liked it. But now it bounces around all over the place. Not nice at all, but it still looks really cool. If you can handle that bouncing around, then... I'd say go for it, but... Personally, I can't. Oh yeah, look at it. Shaking. I'm not sure if it's kind of meant to be like that. If they're trying to make it look like it's, you know, moving with the terrain. Or if... If you know that is just a glitch. Oh god. It doesn't like it. Right, well on that note, let's hop over into the Zeta. So this also has IC. Does it have any IC on the outside? Oh yes it did. Open close hood. Awesome. Oh, look under my bonnet. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't seem to be anything else. Very cool though, it's very, very cool. JZD Stradznik. Lots of details, got the warning stickers. So you don't kill yourself. Oh, this sounds good. It sounds good, doesn't it? I do like that. So let's have a look inside. Again, there's IC. Looks like it's just door. Door, yeah. So you have to kind of guess where that is. <laughs> uh, open right window. Wow. <laughs> but inside it does look pretty good. I Monster energy. Oh dear. Disgusting product placement there. Right, let's open that up. Yeah, cool. So let's see if this one handles a bit better than the Blinder. The car coming. I'm going to get there first. Yes, easy. It's great. This is much more like what I was hoping for. This is really nice. This is the more powerful one. I think it was 145 horsepower. It's pretty good. So what we'll do now is just to finish this video off. I'm just going to go and put this up to a tipper. See how well it copes with that. So that means heading this way. And we'll go and pick uh, pick up the tipper. I think it's the Joe Skin one that's over here. Yep, so there it is. The Joe Skin tipper that we will put this up to. Or attempt to, anyway. This is the one I emptied previously. Why is an LIC only available there? Anyway. Still got a little bit in there. Oh, I like that. Did you hear the engine tone go up? More power when it needed to use the hydraulics in the trailer. That's a very nice little touch, that is. Cool. So let's... Oh, this deals with this with ease. See, so it looks a bit big with that bodywork but that doesn't oh, it is pretty big isn't it <laughs> probably a bit big for this tractor but fair play to the tractor it handles it with ease 
Excellent. I really, really like this tractor, and I hope you do too. Um, so if you do, please drop me a like, subscribe for more. There'll always be Farming Simulator videos on this channel, so please subscribe for more of them. Let me know what you think uh, down in the uh, comments below. And also, as always, let me know. Send me uh, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Uh, messages on YouTube with your uh, suggestions for any mods that you'd like me to have a look at. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it, and this should be now the start of my uh, scheduled and routine and consistent uploads of every Wednesday and Friday, or potentially, yeah, when every Wednesday and Friday at 6 p.m. UK time, there'll be an upload, and then after this week, there will be um, live streams on Sunday evenings. Um, but I need to do some testing with that so you might see some of that coming up over the next few days So please drop in and say hello if you see me testing the live stream, but for now that is going to be it Thank you so much for watching and goodbye